you're considering Universal's Cabana Bay Resort for your next Universal vacation, then keep watching because I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to help you decide if this is the right resort for you. Cabana Bay is one of Universal's prime value resorts, meaning while it's still considered a budget-friendly option, if you want to stay on property, it has a lot more amenities than the endless summer value resorts. Now this resort is massive and there's so much to cover, so as always, I've broken this video up into 5 parts, and if you stick around to the end, I'll let you know if this resort gets the Wandering Wizard stamp of approval. The theming at Cabana Bay is inspired by classic Florida beach resorts of the 1950s and 60s. Every detail in here gives off that vibrant, casual, retro style from the classic cars parked out front, to the lobby, to the nostalgic commercials playing on the massive screens in the diner, and the mid-century vibe in the guest rooms, which we'll talk more about later on in this video. The theming is so well done here that you almost forget you're smack dab in the middle of Central Florida because the moment you step out into the pool courtyard, you're gonna feel like you're at a beach resort on the Florida coast. If you're traveling out of state and you want those beachy Florida vibes and the thrill of theme park vacation, Cabana Bay is the perfect resort for you. And especially if you're planning on visiting Volcano Bay while you're here, then you'll definitely want to consider staying at this hotel. Its close proximity to Volcano Bay is one of the biggest benefits of staying here. And speaking of benefits, let's jump right into our next category. Cabana Bay is a prime value resort, making it one step above the endless summer resorts. This means you'll get all the same benefits of staying there and then some. Of course, you'll get early park admission, which gets you entry into the wizarding world of Harry Potter up to one hour before they open to everyone else. You also get complimentary shuttle transportation to City Walk, and from there you can get to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. The shuttle starts running every morning, usually at 7 a.m., an hour before early park admission. And you're usually not going to wait more than a few minutes for a bus if there isn't already one there waiting to pick you up. If you're up for a walk, there's a walking path from Cabana Bay to City Walk that takes you through the Garden Walk past Sapphire Falls and Royal Pacific, and then you'll go through the security gate right next to Margaritaville, just before the bridge to Islands of Adventure. It's a bit of a walk though, so if you really don't want to take the bus, you should just walk over to Sapphire Falls and take the water taxi from there. But if you're going to Volcano Bay, then you're just a few steps away, because the water park is right in your backyard. Cabana Bay guests have a special dedicated entrance. Another benefit of staying on site, you have charging privileges resort-wide using your room key, and if you do any shopping in the parks, your purchases can be delivered to your hotel free of charge, so you don't have to carry your shopping bags around with you all day. Speaking of shopping, there's a universal store right in the lobby that has some of the same merchandise that you would find in the parks, including Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise like wands and robes. You can save yourself some time waiting in long checkout lines at the parks and just get these here. You'll also find some resort wear and souvenirs, as well as some personal toiletries and common over-the-counter medicines if you forgot any at home. And don't forget that if you have an annual pass, your discount can be applied towards your purchases in here. Just like at every other Universal hotel on property, there's a Universal Vacation Planning Center in the lobby, where you can purchase or pick up your park tickets as well as an Avis counter if for any reason you need to rent a car during your stay. Standard check-in is at 4 p.m., however, if you do arrive early and your room's not ready, you can leave your bags at luggage services and go ahead and start your vacation, and they will safely store them for you until your room is ready. Another great benefit of staying on site is chat your service via text message, and you can opt in at check-in. With this complimentary service, you can text the front desk directly for anything that you might need during your stay, and an actual team member will respond almost immediately. This is the best way to request extra towels or pillows to be sent up to your room, and they'll even even send you a full menu of dining options available at the resort when you check in. Which brings me to our next category, dining. There are several dining spots at Cabana Bay. First up, the Bay Liner Diner. This cafeteria style food court is located on the main floor just past the Universal store in the lobby with several different food stations and offerings like pizzas, burgers, salads, deli sandwiches, and even a daily carving station. You're sure to find something to satisfy even the pickiest eaters in your group. This moderately priced cafeteria is open every day from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. For breakfast, 
I highly recommend the biscuits with gravy and the breakfast potatoes, which are some of the sides you can order a la carte. For lunch and dinner, my favorite entree is the Brazilian beef churrasco. It's marinated and grilled flat iron steak served with chimichurri sauce and your choice of two sides. This is very flavorful and a satisfying option. Located on the other side of the Bayliner Diner is the new Shakes Malt Shop. This retro ice cream shop serves you up smoothies, sundaes, shakes, and floats, as well as baked goods, and it's a must visit during your stay. I highly recommend the Lemon Sorbet. The Shakes Malt Shop is open daily from 6.30 a.m. to midnight. Starbucks located in the main building between the Bayliner Diner and the lobby. It's open daily from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. In the lobby, you'll find the Swizzle Lounge that serves up adult beverages from 1 p.m. to midnight. There are two dining spots and bars out by the pool, or should I say pools. On one side of the resort closest to the main lobby, located in the cabana courtyard, is Atomic Tonic. Here you can get a selection of sandwiches, wraps, and salads, as well as adult cocktails and non-alcoholic beverages. On the other side of the property is the Lazy River Courtyard you'll find the hideaway bar and grill. This is our preferred spot to grab lunch by the pool. A few good options to try. The chicken tenders and fries are pretty good here. The shrimp tacos, buffalo chicken wrap, and a popular menu item, the Honolulu hot dog. It's a pineapple bacon sausage topped with passion fruit mustard and comes with a lemon garlic sauce, which you're gonna wanna get an extra side of for your fries. So good. If you're hungry and you don't feel like leaving the comfort of your room, you can get pizza, drinks, and dessert delivered to your guest room from noon to midnight. And finally, there's full service dining at the Galaxy Bowl restaurant, located in, that's right, the bowling alley on the property. And that brings us to our next category, amenities and recreation. Galaxy Bowl is located on the second floor of the main building. Reservations are required to bowl, and you can make them online at resi.com. The lanes and restaurants are open from noon to midnight, so you don't have to be a guest staying at Cabana Bay to visit Galaxy Bowl. But if you are staying here, we highly recommend scheduling this into your itinerary. It's such a fun activity that the whole family will enjoy. Adjacent to Galaxy Bowl is Game O Rama, which is the arcade that is also a huge hit and a great spot to kill some time while you're waiting on your bowling reservations. The arcade is open from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m.
the same floor of the Jack LaLanne Physical Fitness Studio. Fully equipped with exercise equipment, lockers, and showers, it's open from 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. Now I briefly mentioned the pools. There's a lot to do outside at the courtyards. In the cabana courtyard, there are, you guessed it, cabanas you can rent out for the day. They fit up to six people and come with your own personal TV, telephone, two cushioned lounge chairs, table, and four chairs, and a fridge stocked with water as well as a safe. You can make your reservations in advance by calling the hotel front desk or same day at Atomic Tonic Bar. The pool here is a dive tower theme. There's a water slide, lots of seating, and a large pit for roasting marshmallows for your s'mores in the evening. By the way, they do sell s'mores kit at the Bayliner Diner, so don't worry about having to run out to the store when the craving hits. At the Lazy River Courtyard, there's another swimming pool as well as a winding lazy river and a sand beach, more fire pits, and lots of outdoor seating. There's even some seating upstairs above the hideaway bar and grill where it's a little more quiet and you can enjoy a nice view of the courtyard below. As far as the lazy river, you're gonna probably want a tube. You can buy them here and at the end of your stay, you can swap your used tube for a packaged one to pack and bring back home. Or you can buy your own tube and blow it up here at the pool. There's plenty to do here, and if you're going to Volcano Bay, then this resort is going to be perfect for you, and it's going to feel like an extension of the water park. And even if you're not visiting Volcano Bay, but you still want to enjoy a lot of pool time on your visit, or if you're planning a few no park days, then this is a great resort for that. Especially if you've got kids or teens in your family. There's enough to do, and you probably won't even have to leave the resort to fill your days with fun. Now let's move on to our final category guest rooms. Let's try to keep this simple because the rooms at Cabana Bay can get a little confusing. There are essentially two different room types here. Standard rooms that have two queen beds and family suites that can sleep up to six. And I'm going to show you both room types in this video. But there are a couple more choices you have to make that can affect your location and view that you'll want to keep in mind. The Starlight Thunderbird and Castaway buildings that surround the Cabana Courtyard all have exterior entry rooms, sort of motel style. Some with a pool or courtyard view, and some with parking lot views. The Continental and Americana buildings, located along the Lazy River Courtyard, as well as the two beachside and bayside towers, are going to have interior entry rooms, again with some pool views and some parking lot views. Finally, the coveted tower rooms are going to have the best views of Volcano Bay, so let's start there. The first room I'm going to show you is the standard Volcano Bay view room located in the Bayside Tower, which is the tower you'll want to request if you're going to Volcano Bay because it's the closest to the Volcano Bay entrance. The standard rooms are 300 square feet, have two queen beds, and sleep up to four. You also have a small table and chairs. You have a mini fridge and a coffee maker and a decent amount of drawer storage. bathrooms have separate bath and vanity areas and you can request either a shower or shower tub combo depending on your needs. If you can afford the upgrade, I highly recommend booking a Volcano Bay view room. Just look at this view. 
It just doesn't get better than this. Actually, it does. At night. Let's take a look at the family suite. If you're booking an extended stay, let's say for more than three to four nights, you should really consider a family suite for the extra space and convenience of having a kitchen and seating area. The family suite is 430 square feet for comparison and sleeps up to six. Let's start in the kitchenette. You have plenty of storage space, a fridge that's larger than a typical hotel mini fridge, a sink, a microwave, and some pub style seating. They do include some disposable dishes, but you'll probably want to bring some more of your own. Having a kitchen to prepare some lunch to take with you to the parks or store and reheat the leftovers can save you a little money on food. The living room has a sofa that pulls out into a surprisingly comfortable extra bed. It's a firm foam mattress, not your typical spring mattress sleeper where you can feel the metal bars while you sleep. This one is sturdy and can definitely serve as a bed for two. You also have a chair and a coffee table in here. And the TV stand doubles as a dresser. Two drawers open up on this side and the other two open up on the other side of the wall from the bedroom. And these are nice deep drawers that give you plenty of storage. There's a privacy sliding door that separates the living area from the main bedroom. In here, you've got two queen beds as well as a second TV and a walk-in closet that's perfect for storing your luggage in. The bathroom has separate bath, toilet, and vanity areas, which is very convenient for families. I just have one con about these rooms, and it's the theming. While it's consistent with the rest of the hotel, with the vibrant colors and retro vibe, it just feels a little dated in the rooms to me. You might disagree with me and like the seamless immersive theming throughout, but I think the rooms could use an upgrade and a cleaner, more modern overlay in the room that would make them a little more appealing to stay in. Otherwise, Cabana Bay is a great on-site option for families and guests visiting for an extended stay or guests that plan on spending some time at Volcano Bay. There's so much to do on property that you can fill your days without ever having to leave the resort and with plenty of affordable on-site dining options as well as complimentary transportation to City Walk, Cabana Bay Beach Resort is 100% wizard approved. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and watch this video next. I'm JJ the Wandering Wizard and I'll see you next time. Bye!